Okay, my young and the restless fans, it's time to talk about the spoilers that are going on next week. Kyle get busted by Summer. We also see Phyllis calls Tucker's bluff. And Sally secret is exposed. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is your spoilers video for the young and the restless for the week of January 16th through January 20th. And without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in Genoa City next week. So let's talk about Adam and Victor. These two has been at odds for a long time. And right now, hey, still the same thing. Well, it looked like Victor is going to try to repair his and Adam's relationship, but he's going to send him on a guilt trip. Is this going to work with Adam? We got to stay tuned. Ooh, somebody is getting busted, and it's none other than Kyle Abbott. What happened? Summer discovers that Kyle is scheming, and there's no way it's going to go over well with Summer. Who knows, could this be the beginning of the end for Summer and Kyle? We gotta stay tuned. Speaking of the end, there's another set of folks who is at the end of the rope with their relationship, and that's Tucker and Devon. And as much as Devon has made it perfectly clear that he wants nothing to do with Tucker, he's going to give him five minutes more to plead his case, only to say, no way, Jose. How is that going to go over with Tucker? We got to stay tuned. So we all know that Jack is just going down this rabbit hole with Diane with this whole grand larceny scheme that they cooked up to kind of persuade Jeremy Stark of whatever. Well, it's kind of getting under Jack's skin next week because it looks like he's going to want to come clean. You know, as we know, Jack generally tries to be upfront and honest. So when he come clean, it's probably going to be a relief. So... Who is he going to come clean to? We got to stay tuned. Summer is catching it from all angles. First with Kyle, but then also with her brother Daniel. They're going to share a difference of opinion next week. And of course, it could only be over one thing. Shall we say Phyllis, their mom? But how is she going to deal with all of this? We got to see. So these two are inching ever closer once again to each other. Looks like next week, Sharon is going to be helping Chance with some soul searching. And he's going to look deep into his heart. And I'm wondering what is he going to discover? Feelings for someone else, Abby, or with his new pal, Sharon? Are they going to get more than friendly? You got to stay tuned. Now, these two are a bowl of funny, to say the least. Well, it looks like Phyllis is going to call Tucker's bluff. What does she think he's bluffing about? Remember, he wants to burn it all down. Will she call that a bluff? Or maybe she would join in. It would be interesting to see these two work together, personally and in a whole scheme. So we got to stay tuned. So we all know that there's a lot of chaos going on over at Chancellor Winners. First, the two moles, then the crazy IPO idea, and now Devon wants to buy back Hamilton Winters. Well, it looks like Jill is going to be back in town to try to do some damage to control with both Lily and Devon. Is she fighting a losing battle? Can she rectify this situation? We got to stay tuned. So these two have, again, as I said before, gone down a rabbit hole with this whole thing with Diane. Well, guess what? There's another big risk that they're going to take. What's one more, right? The question is, is eventually all this gamble going to pay off in the way that they're hoping? Or is it paving a way for Jeremy Stark to continue to move the goalposts? Or will he finally be out of their lives forever? We got to stay tuned. So it looks like we're going to have an interesting scene between Victoria and Chelsea. It looks like they're going to manage to reach an understanding. And more than likely, this has to do with Johnny. So what is that in detail? We got to stay tuned. So remember I said Jeremy likes to move the goalposts. He always want Diane to prove more and more whether she's in his corner. Well, this is no exception, and it looks like she might have to show him a little bit of intimacy to prove 
this to Jeremy. Boy, 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 what a rabbit hole to go down. And Jack is going right down with him. Will this be enough for Jeremy? We got to stay tuned. So at the beginning of the week on Monday, we're going to see an awkward scene between Lily and Billy. However, a little bit later in the week, it looks like they're going to have the can we just be friends conversation where they are concerned so they can clear the air. Hey, they can't walk on eggshells around each other forever. So, hey, let's just close the door. Okay, so remember Tessa and Mariah took that flight to go see if the mom that's having the baby is going to let them adopt? Well, they returned home with unexpected news. Could this be good news or could it be falling through? We got to stay tuned. Oh, on Monday, we see two things. Kyle having second thoughts about Victor's plan and Victor guilt tripping Adam into trying to come back into the Newman fall. Well, at the end of the week, we're going to see Victor encouraging Kyle once again to behave responsibly and honorably because it's more than just success. What is this about? Probably more than likely to continue to play dirty when it comes to Adam's job. So will they work together? In the end, we have to stay tuned. So let's talk about another Newman brother, Nick Newman, in regards to Sally, because we all know she's struggling with the truth about her pregnancy. Well, it looks like the truth is going to come out as Nick is getting really suspicious about her activities. She can't drink. She can't eat certain foods and her stomach is really going to go over the top next week with the morning sickness. And of course, that pushes Nick to ask the question, Sally, are you pregnant? Will Sally tell him the truth? I think she might. You got to stay tuned. And finally, remember that whole grand larceny scheme? Look like Nikki is going to be interrogating Jack and Diane. And you know what that means, holding somebody's feet to the fire. Because you know, Nikki has zero patience for Diane and, of course, her support system, Jack. And once she find out about that necklace, not only is she going to be mad, Victor is going to be too. Will he get involved in this? And I don't think Jack wants that smoke. So we got to stay tuned for this and everything next week to see how it all unfold. Okay, so there you have it. Your Young and the Restless spoilers for the week of January 16th through January 20th, 2023. If you haven't checked out the bold and the beautiful spoilers for next week, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye.